Well, yes. Okay. Hello. So today we're gonna start by setting up the everything you need to start making a bucket plugin. So what we need, we need a program called Eclipse. You can use millions of others like Maven and NetBeans or whatever. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna use Eclipse because I've used it before. It's easy, it's cool, it can do a million features like put your stuff on GitHub for millions of people to see and cool stuff like that. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, right now we're on the Eclipse downloads page and we need to get the version called Kepler, which is 4.3 because there's Indigo and Juno and they're really outdated and old but we're going to be using Kepler. So, First, you've got to select your operating system in this area, but most of you are on Windows or Mac. Sorry if you're on Linux, but I'm going to be doing this video on Windows because I know how to use that and it's pretty cool. So, you just select which bit you're going to use, and if you don't know which bit and you're on Windows, you go to Computer, click Probably, and it says here under the System Type. So, we're just going to go get this, except I'm not going to get the. Yeah. I'm not going to go get this because I've already got it. Ta da! Okay, so assuming you've got it installed now, even though it's a pretty big file, you need to get something called a Java. Java JDK, which is a Java development kit. And we can get this, just go to the Oracle page and go to. We may just type in Java SE download or something. And then you find it like that, nice and easy. So from there, you probably want to download something like, I don't know, let's just go to this, which says JDK, and then it takes you to this page. You accept the license and agreements and stuff. And then you want to select whichever operating system you are. So, like, if you're 64 bit, you do the x64, if you're 32 bit, you do the x, what do you call it, 86. And then download it and install it, and then you're done. Ta da! So that's Java done. That's practically everything we need to get done. Oh, yeah, this is my website. It's like, tells you how to do this stuff, except you don't even need to see us because we're doing a video on it. Yes, So, after about 5 or 10 minutes or so after you've downloaded everything, what we have to do, we have to load it up. So, you just go to wherever you put it. I put it on my desktop taskbar thing here, just do that, and then we've loaded it up after it's finished loading. There we go. Okay, so I'm using Juno because I've had it for a long time. If I change to Kepler, chances are I'll probably delete, end up deleting a whole bunch of, what should we call it, projects which I've been working on for a while, and I don't want to do that because they're pretty precious for me. So, whilst this is loading up, we need to get Bucket because it's a bucket plugin. So we'll go to dl.bucket.org There we go. And you want to go to alternate versions. And you want to go to bucket. Because craft bucket is the actual server. And that's for modifying extra things, but bucket is the main thing. So, we'll probably get this better build. I mean, chances are you probably want to get the latest build. The latest build. But, Using one which is safe and easy to work with is recommended. Recommended builds are normally outdated, so we don't need that. So once you get a better build, we could probably, I don't know, dump it on, uh, dump it on the desktop or somewhere, nice and easy and stuff. Okay, so assuming you've got that, actually, it's not a bad idea for me to go get it myself and do it for you. I'm downloading bucket for you. For me. Gonna go get it. Yeah. Here we go. Keep. Okay. Mine sets me slow. Okay. So, what do we do now? Well, this is a pretty cool interface. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Big package explorer here. These are all my projects, so those probably will be blank for you. This is like some other computing stuff. But what we want to do, we want to make a new Java project. So go to File, go to New, and then click Java Project. And let's call it a test plugin. 
There we go. So yeah, once you've got this test plugin, we'll just open it up. And then you'll see all this stuff. You'll have like this, this, this to do this. I mean like who knows even know what is this? Whoa, okay. We are not gonna call it test plugin. We start. Like file new project. Uh oh, okay. New job for it. Wait, let's call it test plugin. Ta-da, okay. Yeah, that's better. Wait. Let me put this bucket top jar on my desktop nice and easy. So, we got our test plugin. We got this JRE system library. It's best if it's version 1.7, but 1.6 will work perfectly because Bucket is 1.6 and we are 1.7, well I'm 1.7 Anyway, so we got our source folder, that's what SLC stands for And we want to make something called a package, which is like folders So it's called a package So right click, make a new package Now, normally you call it a website name or an email name Except what I'm going to do, I'm just going to call it something nice and easy So I'm going to do me.skepto yeah, me.skeptical.test plugin. Nice and easy. So we've got this thing. So when you run the plugin, it will look through the folder me, then go through the folder skeptical, then go to the folder test plugin. So these are three different folders, except they're called packages. I'm going to make something called a class. Now, if you don't know Java yet, that's okay. I didn't learn Java at this stage, so we're just going to do what I do and it'll be nice and easy. So let's call it a name. Why do we call it the main class? Because it's what the plugin's gonna look for. So at the top here it's saying that the package is called me just test plugin and it's saying that the class is called main class. Nice and easy. Right? First thing before we get this thing started, you have to import this bucket.jar thing. Otherwise it'll just be trying to load nothing. So you go to the test plugin, right click it and go to properties. From there you go to the jar build path and you want to add an external jar. So we just find it. In this case it's on my desktop somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Right. So we just add it and then click OK. Go away. So, we are ready to code. So, first thing we want to do, we're going to make this plugin implement the. No, we're going to make it extend, which is like bring all the features from Bucket except into this class. So, we're going to change it to extends Java plugin. Java is case sensitive, so make sure it's capital J, capital T. And you hover over this and it will say import jar plugin. Nice and easy. Okay. Cool. So, what are we going to make this plugin do? I don't know. First, let's enable the plugin, which is not a bad idea. So, we're going to make this. We're going to do this public void on enable. So, what this means, we're going to make a public feature which is going to be accessible by any single class ever and it's void meaning it won't return any value for example if it feels a int it would return a number an integer if it feels a string it would return a whole bunch of letters and stuff but it's void so it doesn't return anything so on enable we're going to make it I don't know first we need a logger logger log import logger this will make us be able to write things to the console. So we're just going to do log dot log dot info no not info info and then we're just going to be like the test plugin has started my face 
and because of Java, you got to put a um, semicolon at the end to say that's the end of what we're going to do. So we save that, <coughs> and that's nice and easy. You put it in the plugin folder, and it will just say it's a new. But what if you're going to shut the server down? So you've got to disable it. So you're going to go to public void on disable. I'm going to make it log.info the test plugin has shut down so successfully or something. Okay? Nice and easy. Now, you can export this. This will work perfectly. Everything will work great and Actually, no, it wouldn't. You can export this, and you can put it in your plugins folder or whatever, and it won't do anything. Because, what you got to do, you need to make... Okay, you need to make a file called plugin.yml, which is where all your plugins are read. So you right-click your test plugin, go to new file. I'm just going to call it plugin.yml. It has to be a lowercase p okay it might open up notepad or something but you can just close that right click it and go to open with text editor okay so I don't even know how to use plugin the one else so we're just gonna take a look at this plugin template on it right so we're gonna make it have a name so it knows what the name of the plugin is so we're gonna call it Test plugin because that's name. Right. We're just gonna copy this. Yeah, that'll be so much easier. Test plugin. Oh yeah, one more thing. With using plugin.yml you can't use tabs, otherwise it'll just crash the whole thing. So yeah. So once you got in the name, you have to add a main. Mm -hmm. And the main is where it's gonna start the plugin from. So the main is according to our source thing, me.skepta.testplugin and the main class called main class. So we're going to change that to me.skepta.testplugin dot main class. And it's case sensitive again. We're just gonna call it version 0.1 because it's not fully developed, you could say. And the description this is a test plugin from skeptics or whatever you want okay okay so we've got a plugin you can export this and run it in a minecraft server and everything will work out fine but that's really boring all it does is say it started and it shut down so what we're going to do in our next video, I'm going to show you how we can make it do stuff. Thanks for watching and goodbye.